Hi everyone, Peter from Booster Busters here today coming at you with a, another video from our Flesh and Blood series. Flesh and Blood, Blood, brand new TCG out from Legend Story Studios, straight from New Zealand. Um, I can expect a lot of videos here on the channel. We're going to be opening up a lot of booster boxes, um, hero decks, uh, taking a look at the cards closely. A uh, few, you know, kind of first look how to play videos as well that will be coming up. Some of the game mechanics explained. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, today I wanted to take a look uh, at the cards with you a little bit closer. The card quality, you know, the different rarities. Uh, definitely first and foremost as a collector, I'm always highly interested in card quality. Um, you know, we known for some of the TCGs that could be a problem uh, here and there. So really curious to get deep and down and, and see what the uh, card quality here we have. Um, so yeah, let's kick it off without further ado. Uh, first and foremost, printed in Belgium um, by our good friends Cardamundi. So really curious to see how it holds up against uh, other games uh, printed there. Um, sure. As uh, many of you know, I do a lot of Magic the Gathering openings here on the channel. Uh, Magic is, is uh, printed by Cardamundi as well. Um, some of the cards being printed in Belgium. Uh, so curious to see how they compare. Uh, first, let's break down the different types of cards we get in a booster pack. Uh, always one token in a booster pack. A one token card which is a kind of a flip card. You've got a weapon on one side, hero card on the other side. Pretty cool. Uh, you get a, co a common, 11, 11 commons, I believe, uh, in a booster pack. That's the next rarity. Uh, followed by rares. And then you have a chance uh, to get either two rares or one of the rares can be a uh, super rare. Very nice. I love, love the artwork of this card, by the way. Uh, also, that rare slot uh, can be a majestic. Um, and just so you guys know, let me bring this up closer and get it nice into focus for you. Uh, you can see here in the bottom... Uh, what we've got is the set number, so WTR stands for Welcome to Wraith. Wrath? Wraith? I think it's Wraith. Wrath? Uh, Alright, well, set name, followed by uh, the card number, and then after the dash, um, you've got the rarity. So C for common, R for rare, S for super rare, M for majestic, T for token, uh, there's also been word of uh, secret rares. Um, there's a legendary uh, that I've seen a few posts online uh, if you follow the game. Um, so very interested if we ever get one of those here. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of, of uh, secret rares and, and um, you know, um, th those types of cards in a pack. Um, there's also one foil per pack. Uh, it can be in any of the slots, common, rare, super rare, majestic. Um, so again, very cool uh, that there's a foil in each pack. Let's take a look at, um, at the quality of the cards. I'm going to bring in a stack of, of commons here for you guys to look at. Uh, opened a few days ago. Very, very nice cutting. Um, Trying to get you guys a good look. Very, very nice corners on all these cards uh, so far from what I've seen in my openings. Um, very, very good quality. The card stock, card stock is, is thick, it's good. Um, not, not thin, not flimsy. Um, what's a good comparison? Uh, Keyforge, if you ever opened Keyforge, I wasn't too impressed with the cardstock there. They felt very papery, very thin. Uh, these these definitely have a nice, nice thick, thick feeling to them. Good, good quality. 
Good printing. Um, I looked at the cards closely uh, after opening them. Very good centering, very good printing. Couldn't find any misprints uh, in, in that whole one box that we opened. Obviously, time will tell. We need to open a little bit more to have a good comparison, but so far, very good. I'm very impressed with the foils as well. So we've got a stack of foils here for you. Uh, you can see, let me just hold it like that. Very nice and straight, you know, no curling. These have been open for a few days now, left without uh, any protection. <laughs> and you can see there's no curling, no warping. So again, time will tell, but um, some of the uh, foils lately from other TCGs, unfortunately, uh, have been warping quite quickly if you don't, if you don't, Put them in a binder or a cover but these are fantastically straight so i hope that quality uh remains very very nice uh the foiling is also a very good job uh very you know artistic foiling i would call it uh, i like the foiling that is not just oh let's foil the whole card and then uh, it's a foil um they they go into um you know, detailed foilings like eyes, little details, uh, blood spatter here or there. So that's very cool. I definitely like that type of foiling. Uh, very, very excited for more foils. Um, so that's a little bit about the card quality. Cardstock feels very nice. One thing I would change, um, if you guys watched my booster box opening video, uh, the empty box here. One thing I would change is I love uh, the foil shrink wrap when it comes with a, a, uh, a stamp, like a company logo like Wizards does on their boxes. Uh, it just makes the whole thing feel more secure. Um, something, something for the company to consider for the future. Hopefully they add something like this. It just adds, I don't know, that little extra boost of confidence that you know, you're getting a fresh box. And of course, once the game becomes more popular, you know, we'll see what the value is like on the secondary market. Um, it just makes it, you know, better for, for sealed product. I like to collect sealed product myself, so very good to have something like that. Um, if you've been watching any openings or if you've seen my booster box opening, one thing I want to point out, um, you can see that there's, well, at first glance looks like the same card. Um, it's not the same card. There's subtle differences. Uh, based on one, the pitch cost. So if you look at the upper left-hand corner here, you can see that there's different value. Um, in short, pitching is, is discarding cards to gain additional resources um, for other actions. So you can see the pitch cost here, one, two, three. Um, they also vary on color up here. So the one cost ones are a, a pinkish purple. And then two is uh, yellow, three being blue. And that's consistent uh, across all the cards. So you'll easily recognize the one pitch, two pitch, three pitch. Um, there's also, again, you can see a little bit of a difference in the actual card. Um, so the one pitch gives us plus six. This one gives plus five, plus four. Um, so again, uh, very, very interesting mechanics, mechanics there. Um, you know, we'll do more how-to videos uh, in the future. Now, one thing I want to do, I do not condone this. Please don't do this to cards. Um, but some people are interested in the printing paper and the printing quality and the card stock itself. I do not condone this. I actually feel very bad doing this. Someone put in a lot of hard work uh, here. So I value people's time. Uh, but again, since there's not many openings of these videos, uh, of these cards, uh, you know, it's, it's really hard to find information now. Um, obviously the game is taking off. They're gonna be having, a, you know, a big presence in Europe quite soon uh, with uh, upcoming distribution there. Um, but there's not many, you know, I don't even think there's a single one, uh, so far from what I've seen on YouTube videos, analyzing what the cards look like after being ripped. 
I know it's a big thing in magic, um, obviously being able to tell, you know, fakes, uh, or just people are interested in, in the paper and the quality of it. Um, so I will rip one token um, for the sake of hopefully people not doing this again. I feel so bad. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's took a little bit. Oh, that feels so bad. Uh, I'm sorry, guys, at Legend Story Studios, but I promise this is the only one I will ever do. All right, so let's take a look at... Let me just get the focus in there for you guys. The printing. Uh, so we can see... We've got um, kind of a bluish blackish tint inside there with a very good quality paper. It did take some force to rip. Um, still very, very strong and thick. Again, you can see what's almost, let me try to get that up close for you guys. Inside kind of a, a bluish, bluish blackish tint here and very, very good quality, thick. Uh, I can't remember, I, don't, I do not rip any of my magic cards uh, to compare, but um, I'm very impressed with the printing, uh, the card, the art itself is not flaking, um, so very good print job, very good quality, Actually, very, very impressed with the quality. Let me get that up close for you guys. I feel so sorry. Sorry, Dorinthia. Yep. So, if anyone's curious about the cardstock, what it looks like inside, please send them here. Please don't rip cards. All right. Um, I'll be doing some more follow up videos shortly, but again, just wanted to talk about uh, the rarities, the card quality. Very impressed with the card quality, the card stock here. Uh, very impressed with the foils. Uh, again, very curious to see our future openings. Perhaps we could get one of the secret uh, rarity cards uh, that you can slowly see coming up online. Uh, very interested to see that. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, as always, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, maybe you've seen these cards yourself. Let me know what you think about the quality. Uh, if you haven't, uh, do check them out. Very cool uh, card game. So highly, highly recommended uh, as well for the collectors. I love the art here, uh, the quality of the cards. They hold up very well. Uh, we'll see what it's like in several weeks time, but even after a few days, like I said, you know, there's no curling, no foil on the foils. Uh, they even come out, you know, straight nice from the pack, uh, which we know sometimes is not the case in other games. So very, very pleased uh, with, with the quality we have here. Thanks guys for tuning in. Catch you next time.